What's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Natalie Champay. Uh, this is a friend of mine. She won't stop following me around, so I decided to bring her by the studio and play some gameplays. I'm here to keep his misplays in check. <laughs> so, but, uh, yeah. yeah, so... Anyways, Natalie, she's pretty good. She's uh, actually really good. She's one of my, she's like pretty much my only testing partner right now for Pokemon cards. So she's like the one that I go to to test with before like big tournaments and stuff like that. And uh, now we're testing for expanded. Yeah, we're for testing Dallas. expanded. We're getting ready for Dallas Regional Championships. Our flights are booked and we're ready to go. We both played the same uh, 60 actually at, um, let's see, I think I start. Pumpkaboo seems like probably, safer. Probably. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. You don't, yeah, I mean, yeah, so that seems not, fine. <laughs> and then let's just go from there. Yeah. But, uh, done. So, uh, we both played the same deck at uh, Memphis Regional Championships. However, Natalie's matchups weren't exactly fantastic in day one of Swiss, okay, but, and it happens. you know, what more can you do? Evans still scraped some pity points together. Yep, she did still, what, five, uh, two, and two? Yeah, I went five, two, and two. I got top two fifty six. I was just shy of one twenty eight. Yeah, I think I, I think I checked. I didn't see somebody just texted me and told me what I got, but I think I got like one fortieth or something. Okay, nice. So, so pretty close to top one twenty eight. Yeah. Uh, oh, I get gets us. Oh, turn one. <laughs> that actually helped. Yeah, that did. Help. That was great. Like the turn one gets us to to a nightmare that guy, deck. Now he's got four cards in hand. I know. Doesn't even have an eel. Oh, he does have. It. Okay, nice. This was very one. good. Looks like I'm playing against Raikou eels. Uh, cool. I imagine that my opponent's probably playing Carrion or something like that. That so. might have just ruined it. He might not even have anything anymore now So, at this, point. this is awesome. Oh, yeah, I am going to be playing the Marsh Shadow. I mean, at this point, now, hindsight is twenty twenty. You know, I should have, uh, let's see. You wouldn't have known. I'm going to Guzma, dude, I'm going to Guzma up that Joltik. You think right. I got it? Oh, yeah, you definitely got this. Yeah, I think I got it. All right, we're going to Guzma up the Joltik. Absolutely. And just go the for there. Oh, uh, yeah. The Tynamo. The Tynamo, that's yeah. what I mean. And we're going to set up for six. All right, let's get it. Battle Compressor, and this thing's dead. All right. So we are testing for. Oh, ooh, we're good. we got it. We got it. We're, we're cool. Yep. Gotta, gotta ultra Vault away. Thing. Yep. We Ultra Vault away these guys here. And no we're in. And we're going to get a Zeruit. So let's just do that. So we could set up, you know. No. Oh, <laughs> and they're out. No. Uh, I'll just do another one while <laughs> yeah. we're here. All right. Fine. We'll roll one more. So we were about to just whop my opponent there. And they decided they didn't want to play that game anymore. But we'll just keep things rolling I'll here. Try uh, another game. We're testing for expanded format now. Uh, Night March is just a super good deck. I mean, this deck's this totally man just busted. Loves Night March. Uh, I do love Night March. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Uh, it's just so good, though. And this is uh, Azul's list that we're playing with, the list he used to win San Jose Regionals. And it's just such a good deck. It's so aggressive. I mean, you can see there, even just getting turn one knockouts, things like that. Uh, having the option to use Zoark GX just really takes Night March to another level in expanded format just being so resilient to cards like carrion and even just item lock like you could still draw cards under item lock now right. like that's a huge thing too and it gives you just hit something into a toad when you're hitting toad karen it does yeah, yeah. yeah. uh just an alternative attacker as well uh i pick tails yeah, I every time I so that's just uh just because tails never fails that's what they say and it's true so i'm gonna start with my pumpkin here that seems right and i'm also gonna bench the zerua just because if they end me on the first turn of the game, I want to have that guy down without having to search him out. That's super good. But yeah, I'm loving Night March right now, testing with it. it looks like oh. I'm playing against some sort of fighting deck with Silent Labs. Oh boy. Oh, yeah. But you know who doesn't care about Silent Lab? Zorark. It'd be Zorark GX. Yeah, does not care about Silent Lab, so that's pretty cool. Uh, uh... And they're also playing... Is this like a Gallade deck, or is this a... Guardy deck. Gold. No, there's no way it's a Guardy deck because there's strong energies in it. Or, oh, so it's a Gallade deck. What kind of Gallade deck am I going to be playing against <laughs> here? Oh, no. Oh, no. Are they going to be playing, like, Focus Sashes and just Gallade? I mean, this deck seems like it would have an excellent mar matchup against uh, Zorark, I guess, right? If you're playing right. a Gallade deck. But also, like... yeah, what in the world? Uh, so I don't know. I mean, this is kind of like the, oh, it, it is, is a Gallade, Gallade deck. deck. Uh, so this is kind of Glade Octillery. Oh, oh wow. boy. This is kind of like my first. Oh, oh gosh, that's he, all they have. Didn't, have. didn't even play a Lay Lay Down? Oh, you, no, you they just have the Octillery so in hand. In. No, they don't. They don't have They it. definitely do. <laughs> I'm going to end them, don't probably. End them. I'm definitely going to end them. Like, what else do I do? Like, I'm definitely what ending. What if they're just pump aching you? They're not. They're, they're, I'm going to end them. All right. <laughs> I don't see really what other options we have. I feel like I should not get out these Zoroarks. Like, I wouldn't all get at least. Sudden. I would at least leave the one on the bench, but not. Yeah. Okay, get, so then. Get like a. Ultra Ball a, here. Um, I 
think I just get a l I think I just get another pumpkaboo or something. Yeah, you can But how many no, night marches do I have in deck? I have three. Um, and I'm trying to knock out a Ralts turn one. I think let's just go for broke knocking out this Ralts turn one. If I knock out this Ralts turn one, then what are they gonna do? What are you gonna do with that? Are you gonna dazzle machine for like something back? Yeah, we're gonna dazzle machine for the Ultra Ball back. back yeah. Ultra Ball away the end and the yep. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah let's do that. Yeah, so let's uh that's fine. let's get a lampant. Yeah. Okay. okay. And then let's uh dowsing machine the end and the lamp in a way, get the ultra ball, and then we're so, just going to set up for four, and then now we have like a pretty good hand to set up into. And we still have the versus seeker in hand too. So this way I think we've decided we're just gonna go aggressive. Oh yeah, oh, yeah this is good. So now we can ultra ball away the sycamore and the lele. And we could go Another get, uh, no, I don't think. <laughs> I think I'm just going to get something like a, a Joltik and then discard that. Right. And Battle Compressor, a couple other cards away, and then Sycamore. And, yeah, so it's Battle Compressor. Let's see, how many DC do I have in deck? I have four, okay. so that's good. Yeah. Uh, I can Battle Compressor away Guzma, Getsis, you know, or just some Night Marchers, probably some Night Marchers. Let's send... You know, I don't know, a couple Joltics. Two, yeah, both Joltic, and then... You know, and then, like, a... Maybe a Supporter, one of Supporter, like a Guzma. Or a uh, using, He's not knocking me one. out next turn, so yeah. I think I want to go for Guzma just so I have it. Um, and then, let's just versus Seeker for the Sycamore. Don't forget to put our Stadium down. And hopefully we hit a Double Colorless Energy, so let's see what we got. All right, so here we go, and we do not have our double colorless energy yet so we're gonna keep grinding as night march has been known to do uh, i think i'm gonna put that pump kaboo down there i'm gonna ultra ball away the special charge and the gets us yeah yeah and then we're gonna set up for four i don't think i'm gonna get anything with that I ultra ball i think i'm just gonna yep just you know see one. how the shaman goes for us yep and let's go get Four new cards, and we got oh. double puzzle and the battle compressor, so we can actually get the double the DC that way. Yeah. So let's just do that. We're gonna chuck a double an colorless way. energy. <laughs> it's definitely an interesting, <laughs> an interesting way. <laughs> uh huh. And then what other door. cards do I want? Yes, it definitely. I want a Lysander in their discard too. You did the other battle compressor at this point. And you really need that, right? uh, but what if they play Karen? You know, so like I'm just gonna keep that in deck, and probably going to ditch. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, we're just going to keep it at that that's for fine. now. Yep, that's fine. Probably that choice band. I feel like they don't play any. Um, a Glade Actuator, I don't think it actually Probably don't play does. any EXs or GXs. So let's just double puzzle. And we're going to go get the DC. I discarded DC, right? Yes. Yep, DC. And then we're probably also going to get just a Versus Seeker. Yeah, I feel like right. that yeah, way, that's... you know, next turn, you that means I could just lie Sander. Yep, and then continue drawing with uh you know zork so that's just going to be the game plan here knock out all my opponent's pokemon we've got a turn one 240 damage that's super nuts and we've got a battle compressor in our hand all they've got is a remoraid i gotta assume that they're going to be drawing octillery they got octillery in hand or something like that if they waited that whole turn and they're just going to end up like just losing here like i don't really know yeah i imagine <laughs> they at least funny, got honestly. something oh, in their yeah, hand. The choice oh the choice band a missile <laughs> for two do they have it uh, or are we going to be rolling into a third game here? Oh, oh they've got a Bridget. Okay, so they are going to be continuing to play. They are playing... Oh, Stardust Dorachi. Oh, they got Stardust Dorachi, but they do have also a choice ban on that uh, Octillery. So <laughs> I doubt staying. he is going to stay there. They do have Stardust Dorachi, though, so that's a little bit interesting. They could slow me down that way. And I do have, like, a bunch of liabilities on my side of the field, you know? Like, I do have a couple Shaman out here. I do have... Uh, also interesting that they know that I like Sycamore to, or they know that I battle compressor to Lysander, but they're just going to only get one Ralts. So I think like that's a little bit risky on their part. Uh, but I am going to target down that Ralts there. And did they level ball? They level balled preemptively for the Curlia. For the they Curlia. They might have prized too. I feel like there's no way. They should have definitely gotten a second Ralts, but like uh, I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to keep my field blower. And I think I'm going to keep my trainer's mail too. I just like, I don't want to trade any of these cards. Like I'm fine just sitting on this hand right now because I don't know if they play like something like what focus sash. So I'm going to want to keep my field blowers. I don't know if they play right. Karen. So I want to keep my battle compressor. 
And then Trainer's Mail is just like a nice consistency card to have in case you they don't need end to trade. me. There's no point. Right? Yeah, there's really no point to trade there. Uh, there wasn't anything that I needed, right? And all these are valuable cards in my hand. So and we'll see where my opponent goes from here. But it looks like this is just going to be kind of like a steamrolling here. Uh, I don't really think that they're going to be able to get up and going here very efficiently. Now, I have ditched my special charge and two puzzles. So they could try to like... Run me out of energy, stardust me. Uh, I wonder if now if they bridge it for like two more Ralts, like maybe they yeah, should have gotten the Ralts last know. turn. Oh, but they do have stand in Zorark, so they oh. are they do go for two. So they're like, okay, that's fine. Oh, they that are so going to be able to knock me out with stand in Zorark though if they do decide to do that, or they could stardust me and try to buy another turn that way. I feel um, like you just gotta go for the stand in just to take a knockout, right. probably. But I don't have my teammates down, do I? No, I don't. So that's a little annoying. They are abyssaling. They're burgeoning. Yeah, I guess, I mean, it wouldn't be too bad if they start us. You are, well, you'll have to Lysander and then find a way to get your DCE. Too. Right. It's not that unlikely. I have to imagine they're playing strong energy. I feel like this deck would also play, like, counter energy or something. But, Probably. you know, what do I know? Gonna, okay, they are going to go for the knockout. I think I agree with that. Yeah. I think that just makes the most sense, especially since they have the double colorless. And not the, uh, if they had like a basic fighting, obviously. Yeah, the DCE to the mm -hmm. Stardust. So, all right, let's just go ahead here. I have Battle Compressor Verse Seeker, though, so now I am just going to go get my teammates <laughs> yeah. and make sure that, like, I just keep things going here. So, I'm going to Battle Compressor away um, the teammates, and that's probably it. Uh, I don't think, you know, I really need to ditch anything else. Like, I want to keep yeah. all these other resources in my deck. I have one puzzle, a couple trainers' mails. Like, this all looks good. Yep, so we're just going to do that. And then I am going to bench this other Pumpkaboo here. I am doing enough damage, right? Yeah, four, five, six, yes. seven. All right, yes. good, good. Just, you know, had to make sure. Yeah, I was about to say that, <laughs> but I was like, no, there's no way. There's not a lot left. Right, in and then let's just teammates take care of this thing. And, you know, I could trade. Let's get a... I think let's get a Zerua and the DC. So that way I just set up my other Zoroark. Sure. You know, and that way I could put the other Zerua down and I would kind of make myself like a little end proof there in case my opponent decides to start ending me. Uh, again, I don't think I need to trade anything. I could no, trade I this trainer's that. mail just to kind of like buff up my hand a little bit. But, you know, the trainer's mail allowed me to look at more cards. Ultimately, I right. could trade this floatstone, but I I'd think probably hold all that. I think I'm good with it. Yeah, make it as good as possible where if you get end. Exactly. Uh, many cards. Exactly. So. Take another knockout there, and you can see this Night March machine is just doing exactly what it needs to do. Yeah, it's a very consistent deck. Uh, Night March, just so good in expanded format. It has just so many different options uh, available to it. This Gallade deck, you know, a little interesting. You know, I, I don't, I did play against one of these actually at Memphis. I played against like a Gallade toolbox deck. Kevin played that too. Uh, right? Yeah, one of our friends, Kevin Baxter, played it as well. I played against Cody Walensky playing it. He's uh, the guy who got second at Worlds with Greninja, what, in 2016? Yeah. So, yeah. So I played against him playing it as well. But this deck that I'm playing against right here looks like it's more like a straightforward Gallade deck. I don't know that there are, you know, the yeah, counter Zorark, things going on. But... Yeah, yeah, maybe Gallade Zorark, but I'm not seeing any of the counter energy or anything like that. Okay, so let's, uh, we trade first. So let's trade the Shaman. Um, and then, so we get to see two new cards, and then we'll get to see the next, and we got the Ultra Ball, so I could trade for another, uh, I could trade more. I also have a Sycamore in my hand, but I'm just looking for a double colorless energy, so let's yeah. see. Uh, I think at this point, I can get rid of, what, the Hex and the Floatstone? Yeah, you need to find, uh, Lysander to get around Stardust. Oh, right, I need to find a Lysander or a Gooseburn, you're right. Yeah. So I gotta find that, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Uh, I probably, yeah, I guess yeah, don't I don't attack into that. Yeah, no, <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So, I think we need to trade, uh, what the field blower probably. Yeah, um, so let's trade. How many verse secret do you have left? Uh, well, at this point, I have to trade. Yeah. So no, see. I know, I was just wondering. <laughs> um, let's trade. I need to find a DCE. Oh, yeah, and a verse secret. All right, so I know that I don't have dowsing machine or another puzzle in my deck, though. That's the okay. only one. So, I think I might just need to wait a turn. Like, ultimately, that right. wouldn't I would just really bother that, me. Uh, I think, yeah, because I can't... I want to keep the Versus Seeker. Uh, I don't have any other puzzles in deck. 
You know, I don't have I DC. Would, yeah, I would sit on that because then, then they can't start us again. Right. So, and so you'll have an option. Yeah, I think I just chill a little bit. Like I could, yeah, no, because I have to Guzma, so I can't. I, right. I'm just stuck. Yep. So I have to just pass. That's fine. That's fine. So they got me with Stardust. They're going to get two Gallades out next turn. But it, that's fine. It's not really a big deal. Like I can take knockouts with Zorks. But they know, you know, that I am down a Dowsing Machine uh, at this point. Two double colorless energy, a dowsing machine, and two puzzles. And your so, and my special charge. So, like, I am actually in danger of running out of resources in this matchup. So that's why you know it's actually very important that I kind of just chill there and not, uh, you know, not try to burn things. Because if right. I if I ditch that puzzle, like, it's pretty much over. Uh, because then I just have two double colorless energy left, and they could just you know knock out both those double colorless energy, and then I'm done. So. I do need to be a little bit careful. Their Gallade will be able to take knockouts on these Zoroarks. Like, if they could actually get, you know... Oh, oh and they play Ash. Focus Ash. No, see? Oh, no. I should have kept that Field Blower. Oh, oh this is fine. Uh, so they are playing Focus Ash. I thought that maybe they were playing Focus Ash, but I thought that their start was so slow that I would be able to just, like, kind of wipe them off the board. But they were able to kind of slow me down with Stardust. This is a weird spot, but I can just, like, I can just sky return, yeah. you know? So, like, I will just sky return into the focus sash thing here. I do need to... Uh, that will prevent another start. If I pull a... If I could get a puzzle out of my prizes here... Oh, they are just going to start us again, though. Yeah. That's fine. Okay, because I need to get the other puzzle out. Oh, there's the double colorless, so that's fine. Yeah. So, I think I just trade the Sycamore. Like, I'm not going to end up using that Sycamore. Right, you only have 10 cards in deck, too. Exactly, yeah. so I'm just going to trade... Uh, get oh, get my hand one. up. Yep, that's fine. And then we're just going to go ahead. Uh, do I Guzma? No, I shouldn't Guzma. I should just save my resources. We're just going to knock out this annoying Starduster here. Right. Um, and hopefully we draw into one of our puzzles off of this uh, knockout. Here, let's get it. Rip get it. it. Get it. Oh, yes. Yeah. So that's good. So that means that we're going to be able to get the Field Blower back. We're also going to be able to get a Double Colorless Energy back. So that I have, you know, if he knocks out this double colorless energy, then I will have, you know, just the two double colorless that I need to win the game. Uh, however, you know, a little sketchy, just if they get a focus sash on both of these, I will be able to remove both the focus sashes, I guess. But if they put more focus sashes on, like I might have to do something with my last double colorless energy where I like, yeah, see, I might have to do something with my last double colorless energy where I like sky return first with it and then take the game winning knockout or i might have See to or more. i could just guzma with it too like guzma will get me a knockout on the octillery for sure so that's also an option but you know uh, the field blower that i get back will be able to remove both of those fury belts so that's pretty good too at least three uh focus sash I don't know probably no. probably like got three choice or... bands. he's got choice bands in there too and it's a oh does he yeah because oh. there's one in the octillery uh-huh Right, so I mean, honestly, I have no idea what this deck right. is rocking. So, <laughs> right, but he when he yeah. created, he didn't get a uh, didn't get a, another focus sash. So okay, and he's only got two. two he's, he's pretty much you know planning on trying to win the game with these two glades. Here. Right, right. So and it's just like hoping that I don't have the field blower right now. So, you know that's <laughs> surprise. Uh, yep, surprise. I got it. So let's go. <laughs> um, so here we go. We're gonna bench the other pumpkaboo here. Uh, we're gonna. Use the double puzzles there, put two cards back, and we're gonna get actually. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I could just get special charge, so I'm gonna do that. Uh, I'm gonna have special yeah. charge and the field blower, and then we're gonna throw two double colorless energy back into the deck just to be a little safe there. So let's just chuck those two back in. That's super good. It's really good that we ripped the uh puzzle there on yeah, that turn. Yeah, it'd be a little sketchy right now if you did. Definitely would be sketchy. I would have to be doing like sky return stuff for sure. So, fortunately, we don't have to do that. And I could trade, like, the Ultra Ball, probably. That's fine. Yeah. And, you know, just see what the other cards I get look like. I got a D-Valley, oh, Trainer's Smell. Yeah. I'll probably just keep those, just in case. No, you shouldn't, because, especially if he counters the... If my opponent counters for Stadium, they put me in a really weird spot. So, you just got to make sure that I don't lose the game at this point. We are running away with it, so we should be fine. Uh, my opponent, you know, is, I, they'd probably what have to, like, end me here but i mean with two zork gx blower. up like and yeah field blower, focus ash would and field blower. yeah yeah that'd be like quite the turn but that would be quite the turn i would be upset <laughs> <laughs> uh but like ultimately i i have the zorks though so like 
you right. know, it's not Wouldn't that big that of a bad. deal. You know, they are, they still have four prizes left to take. Like, I don't think that there's anything they could do. Right. Yeah. Even the M wouldn't put them in a very good position. No. They couldn't, they'd have to kill the Zorark instead. It'd probably be like, uh, uh, it's not really that what Guzma like focus, focus sash, focus sash yeah. Lysander. Um, that would be front. Oh, oh, if they get Lysander too, that is crazy because I mean, like, you have, you have I have game, uh, you know, Guzma, I guess. Yeah, oh, he end you, but okay. he end me. But if they were Pokemon catcher, counter catcher, if they counter catcher right now, <laughs> oh, I would no. be, oh, man. <laughs> if they were to counter catcher, I would be frustrated. All right, so we got to promote the pump. Boo. Do I have Lysander in the discard pile for game? I'm pretty sure you have Goose. Okay, you have Goose. I do have Lysander, Lysander. yeah. So I think I'm just going to go up with the Pound Kaboo. And trade let's see twice. what we get. So I got the D Valley. Let's trade the D Valley. And we're just needing to get one of those two double colorless energy. There ah, it energy. is. And then I need to trade one more time. Let's, before we do that, let's trade the Sycamore. And we do that just so that we can. Increase our odds of being able to. All right, three trainers mail, six cards. There's definitely one in there. Uh, there yeah. it is. So, good deal. And we got game by Guzman or Lysandering up the Ralts. You want the Ralts? Yeah, all right, we'll we'll take the Ralts. Let's go get them. All right. The artillery did nothing wrong this whole game. No, I'm taking the artillery. <laughs> yeah, he's got a choice fan on him. Yeah, yeah. he's strong. Uh huh. So night march for game. All right. We went ahead and did it. So there's two quick games with Night March there, expanded format. Uh, thank you all for watching the video. Let me know what you guys think of Night March in the expanded format. I will show off the list real quick just to show you guys what I'm rocking with. But this is Azul's list, like I said, uh, from the San Jose Regional Championships. This should, by all intents and purposes, be... Uh, what am I doing in the trade? This should be... Uh, what most people are playing or testing right. with when they're looking at Night March for expanded format. So, a uh, very standard list here. Uh, very powerful list. Shout out, you know, and congrats to Azul for winning that regional championship with it. So, thank you all for watching. Let me know what you guys think of the deck in the comments below. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Peace.